Good morning, guys. I am so sorry it has been two weeks since our last video, but let me show you what we've been working on on the bus. So I think in the last video I showed you that we had replaced the, um, the regular opening doors and the step with this um, house door exterior, you know, so it's well insulated and it's got the specialty glass in case, you know, a rock hits it or something while we're driving down the road. And it's got a nice latch on it here. And for right now, we're just using a stool as a stepping down. We're going to build a step there. But I was kind of wondering whether or not I wanted to go all the way across. So that's why we haven't built that yet. Um, because we are putting a second seat for me right here. And it's going to be really close to Randy's seat. And you can see he's already installed the side belt here. And he has the bolts put in. Um, well, that's not... He has bolts, holes right here for a metal um, post that comes straight up right behind my chair right here. And that is what holds my side seat belt. Um, looks just like this. It's actually uh, for a Jeep that you can buy to, to replace them. So this is something that we'll link in the bottom of the description where to get these. And the van came with one um, single chair. They were all, it came with 21 chairs total. And this one was the only single one in the back. So this is going to be my new chair up front. And it's supposed to sit right here next to his. Um, so that's what we're going to do for that. And you can see that we have finished the floor and we've got the trim in right here. We put in new rubber on the floor right here to make this a little bit prettier because it was kind of rusty and yucky looking. Um, and you can see where it stops and the floor right there is what's underneath. So we learned when we did the van that, um, as we stayed in it, we kind of thought of things that we wished we had moved and things that we wish we had done differently. So we decided with the bus, we aren't going to do uh, really extensive build-ins right from the beginning. We're going to use a lot of uh, really easy, uh, cheap, quick installation items so that we can kind of see if we really like that layout. So that's why um, you're going to see a lot of, of uh, easy, easy things in our build. Okay, so right behind the driver's seat, this right here is going to be where the futon sits for now. We got this really pretty gray, so it'll match the seats here and kind of pull in this gray that's up here. So it'll be a couch during the day and then obviously a bed at night. And then in the back here, uh, this is probably a good idea, a time, a good time to talk about this wall right here. So our van came with a wall right here anyway. And the back half was for um, where people left their luggage because this was a shuttle bus that picked people up from an airport and took them to a hotel. And we knew that we wanted to put a bathroom in the back and we were kind of contemplating whether or not to cut a door here or whether to just walk around and use the door. And as we were watching other videos of people who were tearing apart vans or buses, just like this, I'm so used to saying van. <laughs> Um, we watched other people tear apart their buses just like this and found out that this wall is actually built with metal all the way through. So we could have cut a door out, but it would have been really hard. So we decided, and plus it takes up so much room to have a door on both sides, and we don't really have a lot of floor space to work with. So, um, you guys know I've been walking out to the, um, you know, to use the bathroom in the, in the pool behind camper behind the van, so this isn't really that much different. Um, but we've got the wood coming up. We stopped right here because we actually mismeasured and got one less piece of wood than we needed. So we have to buy one more piece of wood to fill in up there, but we did insulate and everything between the two. And so this is what's going to be our kitchen. And, um, we had room here for actual sized kitchen cabinets. But there really wasn't any need for that, and I'm already using these same exact brown um, drawers that are like $20 from Walmart. That's what we're using in the van, and I love them. They're light. They are the right, you know, width. They're not. They're they're you know just half the half the width of a traditional kitchen cabinet. 
And so we have one more that we're going to bring out of the van and put right here. So that'll go all the way across. This is actually a bathroom vanity. So that's how it got so shallow. Um, that's going to be our kitchen. And then I bought a, um, a regular Formica countertop like you would have in any kitchen. And I will show that to you now. So here is the kitchen counter that we purchased. Um, it's just a regular counter like you would put in any kitchen. The lighting, good grief. Every time I do these videos, why do I pick the worst day to do the lighting? Um, but anyway, so this is just a regular countertop like you would put in any kitchen. And we chose this um, really pretty white marble look. And as you can probably tell, it's actually much longer and wider than we need. Well, longer and wider. Um, so our plan is going to be to come... Golly, how are we going to do this? Okay, so our plan is going to be to cut this piece right along this line and remove it. Then come in and cut it the width that we need for our tiny kitchen cabinets. And then we're going to hook this to the wall and then put this back on top so we can keep the little backsplash. I think that'll look really nice. Um, but I'm really excited to see how this is going to look. We hope to get this in this week. It's kind of dirty, I know. The place stored in, in the in kind of like an open outside area, so it's nasty. Um, but I think this is going to be really pretty in there. I think it's going to pick up all of the gray that was already in the bus and um, accent the white of the, of the sink. Okay, so that will go from here to here, and it will go from here all the way across to here. And then, like I said, I have another drawer here, and then that hole we're probably just going to put a trash can. We kind of thought, we bought this thinking that that would have fit, that's actually too wide, so that's going to go somewhere else. And then I found these drawers, which um, are perfect because it fits right underneath that window there, and I really like it. And there's our other van. Hi, leather van. <laughs> which, by the way, if you're wondering, we are keeping the other van because sometimes you just want to be more stealth or much smaller. I mean, that thing there, you can see the size difference now inside here. Um, and keep in mind, we still have the bathroom behind that wall so you can really appreciate how much bigger the bus is from the van and there's a lot of places the van can go that the bus can't and smaller camping spots and stealth obviously so we're going to keep that but anyway I digress so <laughs> oh um we're going to get another one of these I think to put right here maybe or we might put the cooler here we kind of contemplated whether or not we wanted to put a fridge in here but because, again, we don't have solar yet, it just really wasn't worth it to us because we do so much driving that it would, you know, it would just be too hard. It's easier to just throw everything in ice in a cooler. So maybe the cooler will sit right here for now, and eventually when we get solar, maybe we'll put another cabinet there. And then this, for right now, is our dining room table and chairs. Which I really like this setup because when we're driving, we can just lay them flat. When the bed is pulled out, which I don't think the bed's going to come that far. I think it's only going to come to here. But still, we can lay this down and have more room. And if we're somewhere nice, we can just take it outside and have a place outside. And then this rug I just happened to find at Walmart. It's actually a beach rug. Like, well, yeah, a beach rug. Um, but again, it was $15 and it's huge. It covers almost the half of the side of the bus. So for now, that's going to be our, our lawn rug for outside. But that's pretty much where we are right now. And let me go around to the other side and show you the bathroom that's right on the back side of this wall. Okay, here's what we have in the bathroom so far. Um, you can see the big hole. That's where the toilet is going to hook in and go right into the black water tank. And that hole over there is the vent um, that will come up and it will go all the way up into the ceiling, way up there and out the roof. We haven't done that yet. Um, <clears throat> but here is the RV toilet that we got. So it'll work just like a regular RV. And then here is our cute little sink that my husband found. Um, it's, it's nice and tiny because this is only a 30 foot opening right here so that should fit right here really good uh, so the sink will be here and the toilet will be on that far side and then here we're going to put a big rack of shelves and this is basically going to be our 
closet space for our outside stuff. So our fire pit will go here, our outside chairs, that sort of thing um, will all fit right in here. <laughs> Isn't that funny, that state thing that was with the van and for some reason Randy just likes to keep it there. <clears throat> but anyway, this is going to be a nice little bathroom, I think. Here is the, um, the valve to empty the black water tank right here on the side of the van. And let me see if I can get you a good view of what that looks like underneath there. So here's the black water tank right here. Um, it fit perfectly up underneath the van. I don't know how much of this you can actually see. And um, you can probably tell from this angle there's still some rust up underneath there. Again, this van came from um, up north in the snow, so it had some surface rust, nothing really bad. So if you can tell right up here, um, Randy's been slowly um, knocking off a lot of the surface rust and treating it so it won't rust anymore. So that's the black stuff that's right there. But that's how that looks. So thanks for um, stopping by today to see what we're up to. Um, hopefully by the time I show you my next video, which I hope will be on time next Wednesday, fingers crossed, we'll see. Um, I hope to have the bathroom finished so we can show you what we're doing with that. I don't think I mentioned that we're going to put um, wider walls on the inside so it's not that horrible dark blue. Um, but again, uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Click that bell if you want to keep watching this because you don't really get notifications of my videos unless you do that. Um, thumbs up if you like this and I'll see you again soon.